the piano seesaw notation system. A new way to learn to read music, based on musical notation transformation, or short, MLT. The piano seesaw method starts off using a simplified notation system. Black keys are represented by square shaped note symbols. This is a quarter or short note, referring to a black key. This is a half or long note, which also is referring to a black key, despite of its wide design. You just need two sentences to explain the concept of quarter notes and half notes referring to black keys. White keys will be represented by round shaped note symbols, like this. This is simple and completely intuitive. Long symbols represent long tones, short symbols represent short tones. Now, let's assign the piano seesaw tone symbols to distinct pitches. For this purpose they will be set in relation to an illustrated keyboard. Let's start with a black key piece. Each tone symbol is placed right below the very same key of the illustrated keyboard, which has to be played on the piano. The reading direction is vertical from top to bottom. Let's hear what is written on this page. Teachers trained to read regular music notation might get confused when being confronted with the first few stages of the piano seesaw notation system. Beginner students in contrary love this system and just read it with ease because they are not preconditioned. They do not feel that they have to acquire a new skill in order to read the piano seesaw symbols because they interpret them just intuitively. As soon as the student masters reading in the vertical direction, the sheet is rotated 90 degrees to the left. The reading direction is now from left to right, as on a regular staff. Now let's introduce a piece that contains white keys. As mentioned before, note symbols that refer to white keys are round or oval shaped. Here is the beginning of a piece, played with black and white keys. Next step, a piece consisting of white keys only. Now both hands get their own staff with five lines. With three further steps we arrive at the regular notation system. First step. The distances between the lines are reduced in order to match the size of the note heads. Then stems are added to the notes and the note heads get oval shaped. Finally the keyboard images are replaced by a treble and a bass clef. And here we go. The student reads the regular notation without even having noticed that this has happened. 